a very chatty squirrel behind me and some crows I don't know if you can hear but yeah autumn is full swing at the moment here at the tail end of October in Portland and it just so happens to also be my birthday I am 26 today <laughs> oh man I don't feel it do we ever feel it I don't know this past year has been absolutely amazing in so many ways. I am living my absolute dream life, which is still incredible to me. However, this year, if I'm honest, has also, I think, been the loneliest and one of the most difficult years of my life so far. I shared before, if you've been here for a while, that I'm someone who really struggles with being alone and it's something that I've worked a lot on like I've made it a priority to enjoy time by myself and I have grown to really enjoy being by myself however I now work entirely for myself by myself and I know that that is a blessing the transition has been difficult though as far as loneliness is concerned and when I turned 25, we were still in the heat of self-isolation. And I've had so many friends move away this past year. So 25 for me was extremely lonely. And I'm someone who really struggles with the birthday blues ever since I was like 10 or 11 years old. I can remember whenever I was in fourth grade was the first birthday where I felt genuinely so sad on my birthday. And there are many reasons. I think we'll dive into those later. But it's Wednesday, and most of the population has to work today. So until the evening, I don't have anyone to celebrate my birthday with. I'm going to be alone on my birthday. But I am determined to not have the birthday blues today and to enjoy this birthday by myself and I have you all to share it with. So thank you so very much for being here. This makes today all the more special. Um, I have a lot of plans for the day, the first of which is to go to my birthday bridge, which if you've been here for a while again, you'll know that each year on my birthday, I like to go to this bridge. And this year I'm going by myself really truly. Last year I went by myself, but I brought Monsieur Rue. Well, he's with Landon at work today because I'm gonna be gone all day. Oh no, I am in my office. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go visit my birthday bridge and do some other really fun things as well. And I do just want to say that I am so blessed with many good friends and great family and of course this community. So I know and I am very, very grateful for the people in my life. I do just really struggle with feelings of loneliness and I will always consider the year of 25 the lonely year. But 
I am so glad to have experienced it and to have gone through it because I think that I am genuinely so much more comfortable with myself and hopefully this birthday will be a reflection of that. So friends, go ahead and make yourselves a steaming cup of tea or coffee, grab your coziest of blankets or sweaters, get comfy because we have birthday bridges, bookshops, cafes, art museums, and more to go to. Cheers! Mmm, mm, I'm 26! <laughs>so I'm sitting outside of the salon and I'm so so nervous I haven't had a haircut since 2015 I haven't had a proper professional haircut in six years I haven't been able to afford a professional haircut ever really oh I'm so nervous I hope it goes well I think I'm gonna get layers we'll see <laughs> gift to myself. Um, I have Lindsay at Ginger Salon. They have multiple locations, but the stylists work 
at the different locations and Lindsay was so so good so nice and I love she I had a lot to say about the kind of hairstyle that I wanted and she listened well and did exactly what I wanted and I'm so happy <laughs> uh, it was such a treat um, that being said, I am absolutely starving. I've just come home really quick before going back out. I'm going to go get lunch with my friend Talita. And I'd say that in this year of getting really good at being alone, an unforeseen side effect has been the amazing friendships and community that I've formed through this process of being okay being alone. And I had this huge realization a few months ago actually, and it's so obvious now that I'm familiar with it, but prior to realizing this pattern that I put myself through in life, it was really, really toxic. And the thing that I realized about myself is that in a social situation, if I'm hanging out with someone or multiple other people, I am entirely 100% focused on the other people's comfort the other person's comfort. Like, I, I care a lot about what other people think of me, rather unfortunately, and I want people to like me and I want to make people comfortable. And so when I'm with another person, I focus entirely on their comfort and whether or not they're enjoying themselves. And I realized I don't even stop and ask myself, do I enjoy this person's company? Am I having a good time? Am I enjoying myself? And the thing about walking the line of trying to um, be whatever other people want you to be or like be whatever is the best for them rather than being yourself is that people can tell. Like you come off as not very confident. You come off as maybe a bit odd, or at least I have in my own personal experience. And when I realized this about myself and decided to start focusing on enjoying myself and being around people whose company that I really enjoyed, I became more confident. I started having more fun and I think that fun is contagious. And I've suddenly found myself with a wonderful, amazing group of friends. People that really truly lift me up and help me to feel good for being who I am and who I genuinely enjoy spending time with. And one of these people is my best friend, Talita. So I'm going to get lunch with her. She is a person who, after I hang out with her, I always feel filled up when I'm around her. We laugh, we have so much fun. She's so encouraging. She's always been supportive of me in my dreams. We've been best friends for about two, maybe three years now, and I really value her friendship. So she's definitely a good friend, one that I'm very happy to celebrate my birthday with today. So I think we're gonna go walk and probably get Thai food because it's our favorite. Let's go, friends. Hola! Vale, estoy hablando en español, pero Talita, ¿quieres decir algo para mis suscriptores que hablan portugués? Ella es de Brasil. É, sou do Brasil, sou amiga brasileira de Morgan, desde que me mudei para Portland, que nos tornamos amigas. E eu tenho uma notícia de primeira mão para dar para vocês. Morgan vai visitar o Brasil em breve, Sim. comigo e Oliver. Estou muito emocionada. <risos> tenho ganas de visitar o Brasil. É, vai me visitar no Brasil. Vocês vão acompanhar tudo. <laughs> Hello, so Talita is putting Oliver down to sleep and I'm about to head out and go to Portland Art Museum. This is a place that I've never been and I've wanted to go for so long, so many times, and I've just never done it. So I thought, why not do it on my birthday?
best oh vegan gosh. pizza in all the land. It looks so good. I'm Yay! In. Best birthday dinner. <laughs> the healthiest. Absolutely. And happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, it's way too hot. It's fine. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Nailed it. You gotta have some lungs on you. So hindsight's 2020 in that uh, you don't usually put candles in hot cakes. Oh, They're totally candles. melting into it. <laughs> <laughs> Waxy. I love it. Ooh, yay! <laughs> hmm. Amazing. Mm. I love it. Thank you so much, Lynn. No problem. Cuddling us? Yes, I swear I saw her smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my all-time favorite song is the Society of Cross Keys from the soundtrack of the Grand Budapest Hotel, which is a Wes Anderson movie that I absolutely love. And so for my birthday, Landon made me this cutout. <laughs> and it's actually a giant projector, right? Yeah. You want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. Let's put it together. All right. Okay, so here we have a flashlight, which is shining through this piece of cardboard and being transferred onto the wall over here. Whoa. <laughs> it is so cool, Land. Get it? Voila. Because we were It is the end of the night on my birthday, and I have had the absolute best day. And when I reflect on why it is that I get the birthday blues, it all comes down to expectations. And not necessarily expectations for other people. As much as I try, I do unfortunately have expectations and for other people, and it is upsetting when they're not met. But I think what it really comes down to is the expectation that when I'm a certain age, life will feel a certain way. Like, I used to always think that at a certain point, on a certain birthday in my life, I would feel like I had it all together and I would feel like I was doing life right that I had my life together, that my life resembled what I saw in the movies. And that hasn't ever happened. I know that 
my life is absolutely amazing and I am so grateful to live this life. There, I just, <laughs> I don't ever want to come across as ungrateful or like I'm complaining, but yeah, I share most all of the highlights with you all and I am honest about hard parts, but it, my life is way beyond what I dreamed it would be. Yet at the same time, the reality of it isn't always what I thought it would feel like or how it would be. And this past year has been perhaps the loneliest and the hardest of my life so far. It, it competes with my first year in Portland. Um, yeah, it was really hard, but it was also really, truly amazing. And I had major birthday blues yesterday, but today on my actual birthday, I determined to enjoy it. And I determined to have fun being by myself. I did not want the fact that I had to celebrate mostly by myself to bring the birthday blues upon me. And I think I did a really, really good job. Today was so much fun and I felt really good in my own company. And then seeing Talita and obviously spending my time with Landon were just cherries on the cake, if you will. Cherries on the birthday cake. Um, needless to say, time spent with them, especially with Landon, was made extra sweet by the enjoyment of, or just the knowledge that I could enjoy my time alone, if that makes any sense. And so I've talked about two really big lessons that I've learned this year. The first was how to be okay with being alone. The second was to foster relationships in which I feel good with my friends, that I enjoy myself when I spend time with them and to focus on my enjoyment as well as their enjoyment, not be so hyper sensitive to whether or not they like me or, in, or are enjoying my presence, but to ask myself, am I having a good time as well? And in doing that, my friendships got so much better. And the third, which plays into the birthday blues and life expectations. The third is to learn how to measure the value of my own life and my successes outside of numbers, outside of money, outside of likes, outside of algorithms, and even beyond, outside of the opinions of others, learning what truly makes me feel fulfilled in my life and learning to love myself through the lows and even the ups, to allow myself to enjoy the ups. Yeah, learning or redefining success and monitoring my expectations and seeing if they're actually realistic. And I talk about these things in hopes that someone will find them relatable because friends, I want you to enjoy your lives. I want us to enjoy our lives. I want us to enjoy spending time by ourselves. I want us to have good quality friends and a strong community. I want us to feel like our lives matter and that we are doing just fine, even if we're in our lows, especially if we're in our highs. Yeah. Two years ago, maybe even a year ago, I couldn't afford to get my hair cut. I would not have been brave enough to adventure to the birthday bridge by myself. Same with going to the Portland Art Museum. That's not something I would have done by myself. And even six months ago, I felt very, very lonely and lost once more. So if any of those things are how you feel right now, if you relate to any of them, I just want to give you the biggest hug and let you know that everything is going to be okay. I really truly mean it. You are so not alone in your experiences. It is okay to not have everything figured out. It is okay if your life doesn't look the way that you thought it would. It is okay to feel sad or upset without guilt, even if your life is really, really good and you have so much to be grateful for. Like positivity at a certain point can become toxic positivity. So I've started rambling, but at the heart of everything I'm trying to say is love and acceptance. Accept 
wherever you are right now and love yourself through it. You are more than enough and you absolutely deserve to enjoy your life without any guilt, comparison, judgment, none of it, get rid of it. And know that you are going to be more than okay. So believe in yourself, oh wondrous you.